How's it going guys? Boy and a Scanner here and today I'm going to show you how to add DMR frequencies. Really simple way that I found using a site called digitalfrequencysearch.com. So I'm inside of Sentinel right now and I'm going to show you how to set this up from start to finish in your local area. So if you head over to digitalfrequencysearch.com um, and we're going to be inputting this into the SDS100 scanner obviously. Uh, but what we're going to do on digital frequency search is just head over to this quick import tab at the top and what I can actually do is go to a county so let's put in a county and then the state and then I'm going to do DMR and we're going to do for Sentinel and if I go ahead and search it's going to bring up all the DMR information here in my local area so you can see all this information is already set up. So this is really good uh, and I've searched quite a few different places and it seems like they have a really good list of, of the DMR frequencies and everything seems to work very well. So I've had a lot of questions from people about DMR. Um, so this is a video I just wanted to show on the computer how to do this and what we're going to do is actually copy this to the clipboard now. So we've copied this entire thing and I'm going to head over to Sentinel now and create a new favorites list and we'll just name that Bingham DMR whoops so we'll click OK and we'll scroll down to the frequency or to the favorites list here and we'll right click and we'll go to program favorites list and now I want to add a system and I'm going to call this Bingham DMR you can name that whatever you want and in this case we're going to do conventional uh, we'll click OK and we'll head over to the system we're going to create a department and I'm just going to leave that department named what it is there you can obviously name this as well uh, and then we'll go to channels we're going to add channels and then I'm going to go ahead and just click right up here to channel name and I'm going to go ahead and paste and that pasted everything in here with all the right tables filled and everything so you can see all the you know the alert light the the service type um, all these the delays uh, all this stuff is input correctly all the frequencies are in there uh, and all the names so we got all these different DMR systems ready to go and now all I need to do is come up here to file and then click save and then I can go ahead and exit that so now I can just go ahead and obviously write to my scanner now always remember one thing I've I've really learned about anything when you're uploading and downloading databases I've done a lot of work in um, alarm systems and programming radios and stuff in, in different in, in different jobs I've had out there before but I've, I've really realized it's really super important to always if you have stuff on your scanner that you've programmed manually because I do a lot of that also but to upload from your scanner to the computer first and then make changes on the computer and then move everything back to the scanner because if you have changes on your scanner that you've personally made not connected to Sentinel and then you go ahead and make changes on Sentinel and then write to your scanner. It's going to erase everything you've just done on your scanner manually, which really stinks because you don't have a backup of all that. So that could really frustrate you. So always make sure to when you open Sentinel uh, just to read from scanner first and then go ahead and make changes inside of Sentinel and then write back to the scanner. Uh, so if we come down here to Bingham DMR, I'll just go ahead and open this favorites list and you can see here if I open this departments you can see all this information right inside here um, all the fields are filled out correctly and um, and I'm going to show you in another video kind of what I found out uh, just messing around with some of these frequencies on here so stay tuned for that video that'll actually probably be the next video coming up hopefully today uh, I'm trying to get that edited of, as the time I'm recording this um, if I get some free time but if you have any questions about DMR and about this setup let me know this is a really cool site that I found like I said you can find you can do a DMR NXDN and P25 you can use it with the ARC software 
uh, Sentinel and Easy Scan. Arc 536, I believe is what it's called, might be another programming software that I try out for the SDS 100 and see how that works. But I really don't mind Sentinel at all. Um, I know there's some some people that complain about it, but I really don't have a problem with it. Um, it's been great for me. Anyway, you guys, have a great day. If you like this video, go ahead and smash that like button. And go ahead and give me a sub if you find this content valuable. And make sure to check that bell so you don't miss a video that I post. And like I said, I'll be doing some more videos on DMR, so stay tuned for that. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys. Hopefully you're all safe. Your families are safe with what's going on right now. Take care. We'll see you in the next video.